Hey everyone, it's November the 14th. We're over in Santo Tomas. Uh, this is one of the new resorts they're building over here. So we encourage everybody to come check it out when it's done. It's uh, under construction. I haven't spoke with anybody. It's uh, November the 14th, my 11 month exact day of uh, arrive, uh, coming into the Philippines last January the 14th. So we are call that a uh, 11 month review but of the Philippines and we've hiked over to this resort here in Santo Tomas that they're building and I'm not sure what's all going it's supposed to be a, some sort of nature farm um, so this is a neat little uh, bamboo structure with some palm uh, leaves for weather protection so it looks nice I'm over here with the boys local kids uh, I asked them to walk me down the trail and show me the place so this looks neat so i guess you can uh spend the night here maybe i'm not sure like i said they got some matting there underneath so it's typical uh, uh philippine construction uh this is almost exclusively bamboo a few few tree logs here and there from the trees but it's mainly bamboo which is very plentiful around here so uh that's pretty cool looks like you could sleep uh six eight ten people here pretty easily they got some smaller things so if you're over in santo tomas there or down the street from the elementary school uh, just look out for the uh, multicolored flags yellow blue red primarily and uh and you can hike down the trail here which we did so but there's numerous little structures. This one over this uh, little pond looks interesting. So I think if you check it out on Facebook too, maybe a Google or Facebook uh, Santo Tomas uh, resort, and maybe you can find more information about it. If I see somebody, I'll let you know. So, so over there is a, like a little road about in the middle of the rice field that I hike back to San Fernando usually. So where I have lived, but uh, so I'm not sure who's the caretaker owner, but I read a little bit on Facebook that's supposed to be some sort of nature farm. So they got a big platform over a little pond there. So I guess you can have lunch or sleep there maybe. And they got these little picnic areas here. It looks like you can rent and have lunch or dinner something then this looks like more of a shelter where you maybe could spend the night so here's the guys do you want to say your names and say hi you're on hi. youtube say your name Dale. all right I am all right and what's your name young man i am bruce okay bruce they're local people i'm friends uh, with their family and Come so on. they're out here guiding me around so we're maybe gonna hike here and go down through the rice field they uh they know all the little trails here, so they're helping me negotiate around the local uh, hills here. So I still haven't recovered my voice from the, uh, I had the flu or severe cold for about uh, 10, 15 days a couple weeks ago. So my voice is very scratchy, but not too hot, a little bit of sun, threatening uh, maybe a shower or something this is all rice fields to the left so there's some mature rice there starting to seed some little newer beds there in the middle nice and lush and green but there's a uh, little homes here and people living along the edge of the rice fields they make their living and live off the land back here primarily so they get the uh, bamboo and the coconuts and ban uh, bananas and whatnot and then they uh, may do some work in town so all right um just wanted to highlight the resort today so just look for the flags and uh hike back the trail by the creek and uh just ask the locals they're very friendly and they're uh assist you in locating they may even take you here so i would say it's about a 15 minute walk from the main road so and the trail's not too bad. I mean, if it really rained a lot, it might be you know, muddy, but it's a fairly easy walk, I think. So, 
All right, that's it from Santa Tomas, uh, November the 14th. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the adventure. Thank you.